Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of my 100 baby challenge in The Sims 4. So today I am just going to start the episode off by showing you guys the wall of baby daddies. So if you uh, have not watched the series thus far, you're not really going to know what on earth is going on. So I, uh, I I suggest that you go back to my uh, my first video of the series and uh, well I mean I have a playlist, just go back and watch from the start. It's kind of a little bit boring and quiet at uh, in the first few episodes because I didn't really know how to work the microphone settings in OBS back then but I mean it's worth uh, it's worth it to kind of be caught up on the whole entire like sort of I guess storyline sort of situation that we have going on in the 100 baby challenge but anyway so I um I have put up the photo with Camden Castle he was our last baby daddy just here that's this little guy right there with the red hair hence our two little redhead babbly roos now actually Nora is oh she is quite hungry so I think that what I might do is Stella actually needs to get pregnant but as you can see Stella actually looks a little bit different so I will go ahead and I will pop her makeover in uh, right here, I'll just uh, play a little bit of music, it won't take too long, and I'll be right back once the makeover is over.
Okay, so I hope you enjoyed the makeover segment. Now we are back in game. So we are honestly just, yeah, as I said, we are going to probably, I'm going to have Stella serve up some food. And then once she's made some food, everybody can eat. And then we will go ahead and go and find the men that I placed down into the world. Uh, there was somebody else that was in my tag. So the Ruby Red 100 baby tag. There was somebody else put in here for me. I uh, oh, never mind. There was actually four men put in here for me. So here we have, if it would load, that would be nice. So here we have Oscar, Jet, Sh Shiola, and Jaeger. Cool. So uh, I did actually go ahead and I placed them in the world somewhere. I don't quite remember where, but we will go and we'll meet one of them today because we definitely need... Uh, to get Stella pregnant. Now we're on, I think it was 24 babies. Where am I? Yeah, so we have 24 birth certificates. That means 24 babies. And Stella is due to age up very soon. Where is her birthday? Oh, her birthday is literally just around the corner. So we definitely, definitely, definitely need to get her pregnant, which means we also need to get these kids uh, aged up and moved on out. You've got an A grade. Why aren't you H? Oh, that's right. We have to wait for your brother to get an A. Oh, 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 oh. Well, you actually need to get your skill up before you go to school. So can you please actually just really quickly go ahead and dream big a few times and then you can go to school? Because hopefully that will be all good. Oh, dang. You haven't even done your homework. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe we'll try to get the homework uh, pushed in there. You also need to get your skills up. And how about your twin? You both need to get your skills up. So maybe we'll leave you two till the next day. But until then, we definitely need to get these little bubbly roos eating. So hopefully they will eat uh, as quickly as possible. Hopefully Stella will make food as quickly as possible. Uh, okay, we definitely need you to... Uh, no, 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 just don't go to school. Yes, come home, but you can go to school after. Okay, good. At least the option to go to school is still there. So honey, please just dream big. Just keep on dreaming big. What are you doing? Baby, what are you doing? You need to just keep on dreaming big. Oh, that's so funny. Look at these, like, look at the animation. Wait, is this actually helping a skill? I don't believe that it is. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I don't know how to get his skill up. Maybe we'll just have him really quickly play on this for just a couple of rounds and then hopefully that'll get his skill up so that he can get an A so that him and his brother can be aged up and moved or not moved out they're just going to be aged up into teenagers oh what am I thinking having them moved out oh do you know what honey bunny no nah, you just need to go to school because I'm stressing about you missing school just go to school you know we, we've got time maybe tomorrow they can be uh aged up that's fine it's fine I don't know why I was stressing out there hopefully these kitty loos are kitty loos wow Hopefully these little kitty witties are eating some food now. And oh yeah, I forgot about the knitting pack. Wowzers. <laughs> uh, maybe we can also get Stella working on some knitting. Oh yeah, that's right. Because I want her to knit the toddlers some onesies. But I think getting her pregnant is a little bit more pressing at this time. So these two are going to eat. Uh, as soon as you start eating, that would be absolutely amazing. Who is ringing? It is school. So let's raise some emotional control. Sure. Got some uh, monies from our daily royalties, which was nice. Now, honey, what are you doing? I did not tell you to do that. I want these two to eat. Are you eating or not? I'm actually really annoyed that you're not eating. Okay. Finally, Noah is taking himself to eat, which is good. Now, if he could just like actually get his... um, Yeah, there we go. Nice, 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 nice. Now... Stella, my lovey, you're not going to cook food. What you're going to do is you're going to travel and we're going to go ahead and try to see if we can find the men that I placed down in the world. I don't actually know where I placed these people. Oh, wait a minute. I placed a random house down here and I actually grabbed a bunch of other people as well. Hang on a minute. Where are the men that were put into my tag? Did I not put them in? I swear I put them in. All right, well, I'm just going to have to put them in another time. And then obviously we'll just have heaps and heaps and heaps of baby daddies. For now, let's just go ahead and travel to this house in order to get with one of these men. Let's see who we've got here. So who are you? Drew. Well, how do you look? You've got some green eyes. Do you know what? I think we may as well just go ahead and go straight for him. So we'll give him a flirty introduction. And then obviously we can beguile him because we have that option. Wait, can we just spin around and actually see what's going on here? 
Oh, all these men are so cute. Check out this guy. Ooh, he kind of looks a little bit, um, drink, drank, drunk. Actually, they all kind of do. What's wrong with y'all? Are you all dazed or something? Is that what's going on? Oh, yes. Okay, I see. Everybody is actually dazed. That is interesting. All right, so he has had a, um, floaty introduction. Now he can be beguiled. And then hopefully we can get on inside in order to... Get a move on with making some bubbly roos. So if we could just go ahead and knock on the door, that would be fantastic. All right, so we're going ahead and we're knocking on the door now. Our notification wall is full. Okie dokie Loki. Well, we can actually go ahead and clear that because the notifications are not too, 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 too important. So with Drew, how about we just go ahead and we go straight in for the kill and we just do our best to see if we can get him in the sack. Okay, good. He really likes us, which is really, really good. <laughs> oh, sweet. First kiss. So if we could get that first kiss in, then we could um, maybe go and find somewhere to do some woohooties. Oh, there are not enough beds in this house for everybody who I placed, but that's okay. They can just do a little bit of an asylum challenge, I suppose. All right. So I think that Drew is a little bit hungry because he's just walked over to the fridge. But hopefully, oh no, never mind. He's just gotten himself a glass of milk. Ugh. So Stella's actually feeling really quite tired, but I kind of don't care. We're just going to try our best here. Hey, whatever happened to that first kiss? It never actually uh, came to be. Can we um, actually get on with that? That would be great if you could do that. Oh, look at the way she's looking at him. She's so cute. All right, are we going to do that first kiss now? What was that massive horn tooting? Was, was that necessary? Bro, put down the future cube and kiss us, please. Put down the future cube. Give us a little bit of a smoochy smooch. Yes, much better. Very cute, very, very cute indeed. Excellent, okie dokie loki. Why do I keep saying that? I am irritating myself. <laughs> okay, let's just, I mean, she's feeling super, super floaty. So I guess we're just going to keep on trying to get in here. I don't know why the first kiss option keeps sh showing up. Obviously, it hadn't registered yet. Oh, yes. Try for baby and shower. I didn't even know that there was a shower on this. Uh, uh, yeah. on, on this lot. Oh, okay. So it's just up there. Hopefully, they can get in there in order to do their business. But while they're doing that, we will just kind of have a look around this house. Now, I don't believe that I saved the creator ID for the person who made this house. But it's just like this little suburban kind of, uh, I don't know, would you call this? Yeah, I'd call this suburban, kind of traditional suburban sort of house. I like the windows. I like how it's like kind of got green accents and stuff like that. I think it's pretty cute. Okay, Levin has a B, uh, okay, B, B, B. Everybody has got a B. Fantabulous. All right, so since they are done up here, Stella, honey, don't do that. Come over here and take a pregnancy test, if you don't mind, so that we can see if you are pregnant. She's not pregnant. <gasps> oh, no, we have to go again. Honey, I'm sorry, but we have to go again. <laughs> we just have to. We have to, have to, have to. It's been a while since Stella has uh, not been able to fall pregnant. All right, well, somebody needs to go to the toilet upstairs, so Stella's going to have to come down here. And hopefully these guys will get out of here so that she can use the toilet down here. Um, okay, please get out, guys. Come on, boys, leave. Bruno and Brad, please get out of here. Oh, Camden Castle, Camden Castle just aged up into a full-on adult. Sweetie, get these guys out of here. Let's go. Oh my gosh. Do you know what? Let's just try to go back upstairs. Okay, nobody's upstairs, so we'll just go right back up there and we'll try up here. And then we have to go home to take care of our children. Oh, goodies! So she's pregnant. <laughs> that kind of happened quicker than what I was expecting. But that is amazing. So she is pregnant now. So I am going to just have her head on home. Uh, don't... Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. That is not what we're going to do. We're going to go down to Drew. And we actually have to take a picture with him, ask him to just be friends, and then we can go home. So let's take a photo with Mr. Drew. Oh, Alexander's in the area. Interesting. Cute. Oh my gosh. So cute, guys. Super, super cute. Loving Stella's new hairdo. I just, she just looks, I don't know, you guys. I just, I love my Stella. I'm going to be sad when Stella has to no longer be the baby mama. 
the baby maker. <laughs> but anyway, I will uh, catch up with you guys once we are back at our home lot. Okie dokie, Loki. Why do I keep saying that? I am so annoying. Well, we're home now, so Stella actually has to put herself to bed and y'all need to work on some skills. You're fine, so I actually just want you to do your homework. We're just gonna get rid of this laundry because the laundry doesn't work anymore for whatever reason. And you can actually, ew, clean up the things from out of your inventory, do your homework, and then you need to work on a skill. So since you're closest to your motor, we'll actually have you work on your motor skill. So if you could just go outside and do that, it would be amazing. Who is calling? Nobody, apparently. Well, I think I actually have to change Stella's uh, sleepy um, hairstyle, like her hairstyle for her sleepwear, because I think that's the same hairstyle I've used for one of her children. And so it's kind of confusing me just a little bit. But I'll um, probably do that off camera now. Oh, yeah, that's right. We need to put up the next baby daddy uh, picture on the wall. Wrong button. Genius. Uh, there we go. Now let's see which one has the best quality. Eight, six, five, eight and one. OK, that's funny because this one has outstanding quality and this one is just normal. Oh, it's got a confident ambience, though. So that is amazing. Oh, my gosh, we can sell our photos on Plopsy. That is hilarious. I love that. So let's go ahead and do that. And then what was his name again? Dang it. I forgot to ask him to just be friends. Now we're going to have to invite him over. But his name is Drew Lawrence. So he is number 14, number 15. Okie dokie. Oh my gosh, I did it again. So number, what did I say? Drew Lawrence. I think that's correct. So you're number 14, you're number 15. Drew Lawrence. Did I spell it right? I think so. Sure. I think it's fine cool beans okay so if we could just go ahead and make sure these kids are doing as they're told what are you doing bub okay good you're going to clean up everything amazing what are you doing sweetie you're stinky so could you please just go ahead and take yourself a shower you need to work on some skills too you're actually quite close to getting level four yourself so creativity okay well with creativity we can actually just have you go ahead and play with some dolls so you can do that, honey. And why are you sleeping, sweetheart? Please don't sleep. Please go and take a shower in this other little shower down here. There's some dirty dishes. And also, how is your skills? Your skills could use a little bit of work too. Maybe we could get all four of the children aged up into teenagers by tomorrow. That would actually be really, really cool if we could do that. Now, yours, you're closest to Moda as well. How about just to kind of keep it fresh, we'll just have you uh, continue doing some knitting actually we could have all of the kids continue doing knitting instead of doing like creativity or motor or anything like that i mean you know it's just something a little bit different you can go ahead and knit this little beanie over here Do you, okay good you took your shower oh and we need to turn everybody's earbuds on because everybody's kind of getting a little bit tense so i'm just going to turn on actually i'm going to go to kids radio because you know they are children they deserve to listen to a little bit of kids radio okay so you as well honey instead of doing the monkey bars. I'm just going to have you come and sit down here and oh, maybe you could knit some socks. Go ahead and knit those socks. And uh, wait, did I? Oh, yeah, I turned your earbuds on. And how about you? You can have your earbuds on too, little man. And you can also go and find somewhere to sit down and knit some socks. So go ahead and knit those. Oh, you also need to use the toilet, but you can use that afterwards. That's fine. Kobe Pruitt has aged up into a, an an an. an, an <laughs> an adult okay so uh, see i was gonna call her charlotte but she's not charlotte oh yeah no i need to change her hair i think it was charlotte that i gave that hair to so that is awkward but that's fine i can fix that up uh, pretty soon yeah see charlotte has that same hairstyle and she looks so similar to her mom it's insane okay so we also need the kids uh we need to be having the kids do their homework and i'm just going to pin it in their whims if it's in there so that uh, they can uh, get a little bit of, uh, what are these called? Satisfaction points. Also, how are the little babies doing? You need some potty help. You actually can't get that because your mum is sleeping, but that is fine. What are we working on here? You're working on your movement. You don't really need to use the, um, the blocks to work on your movement, my love. You can actually, could you please work on your shapes instead? Because that would actually be really super duper handy. And then we'll go ahead and we'll see what Noah is doing as well. Okay, so that's all that we can do over there. Oh, Noah's sleeping. Well, that's okay. But he's actually in a pretty okay mood. So, oh boy. Let's get rid of these nasty clothings. 
and then we'll go ahead and we'll have him wake up and do some work on his thinking as well. It's really good that they're already at level two of their thinking because it means that we don't need Stella to help them to get to that point. Okay, so we can add this one to the wardrobe now. We can add this one to the wardrobe. Uh, I think that's it for now. That's okay. So the green bear beanie and the mismatched oh mismatched socks sweet I love Mitch I love mismatched things I love it it's fun I don't know why in real life no way but in The Sims heck yeah oh sweetie you've got low social I'm sorry how about you uh kind of just do some little interactions with your siblings here huh how about that actually I changed my mind you can actually. Uh, just speak to one of the Blaffies here. So let's just tell him a few stories, cheer him up a little bit. And we don't want to call him names, so we'll just we'll do the nice interactions. <laughs> and then, how about you, sweetie? You're fine. How, how are your skills, though? Uh, still not too good. Ugh, oh, boy. Okay. After you've done your homework... What? Oh, he doesn't want to knit. How rude. Well, if you don't want to knit, then you can come over here and you can play on the monkey bars So un until you get your skill up because we need you to get a skill up. We need to age you up, my boy. We need to age you up. So your creativity is still quite low. Well, you're just gonna have to play dolls. Knitting is taking far too long. Hmm, your knitting is also taking far too long. What else could we do to have you work on a skill? Can you use the computer? Oh, you can use the computer. Can you actually go ahead and practice typing? Cause that should get your skills up as well. And okay, you're doing it really, really well. You need communication, imagination. Oh yeah, that's okay. We're, we're gonna get there. We have time, you guys, we have time. All right, so she is on the way to getting her creativity up, which is splendid. How about you, sweetie? You're still, okay, you're working on your mental skill right now because you're obviously doing your homework. That's totally fine. How are you doing, sweetie? You need to go to the toilet. So how about you actually go to the toilet? That would be great. Oh, add those to the wardrobe. Oh, we can't add that to the wardrobe. That's okay. Can we add these? No? Hello? Okay, maybe not. That's fine. So who's done their extra credit? Oh, oh, you're far too uncomfortable. Okie dokie. Go to the toilet, honey. And then maybe after that, you can go ahead and do your extra credit work. And then how are your skills? Oh, that's right. You actually have a skill up already. So you're ready to go. It's Levin who needs to get his skill up. Okay, can we add that to the wardrobe now? Thank you. Sweet. Oh, someone just reached level three. Wait, who was it? Uh, Nora. Nora, honey, you don't have to do that anymore. You can just um, maybe, yeah, just use your nappy. That is absolutely fine with me. And what can we work on next? Mm, I mean, honestly, we could probably just have you go to sleep for now. And Noah, sweetheart, okay, how are you doing? You're really close to level three as well. And then after that, we can also send you right on to bed. Okay, Mila got her skill up, which is fantastic. She can go up to bed now. She can do her extra credit once she wakes up in the morning. Uh, how are you doing, sweetie? Oh, you're so close, honey. You're so close. As soon as you get your skill up, you can go right on up to bed. Oh, Levin got his skill up. Amazing, fantastic, absolutely amazing, amazing, amazing. So Mila got her skill, that's right. And you still need your skill, honey. Does not look like you're getting it because you need to go to bed. But you know what? That is okay. It's absolutely okay. So this is your bed. And then in the morning, I'll have you play on the monkey bars a whole bunch before you go to school. So now that everybody's in bed, Stella's actually awake. So she's going to take care of her needs. And then we're probably just going to, I don't know, maybe we'll have her write another book just while everybody's asleep. We still have to publish another nine books and make sure that five of those are excellent. So I'm going to need baby names that start with O, males and females, because we don't know what gender the baby is going to be. And I'm not going to get any of those like ultrasound mods or anything like that so that we can find out in advance because I like it to be a surprise. Although sometimes I do check in MC Command Center, not always, but sometimes I do. Uh, but by the next time that I've recorded the next episode, I generally forget. So it is still a surprise each time for me as well. That is spoiled, that can go in the bin. What are you doing up, sweetie? You haven't slept. Oh my goodness. Well, you can go ahead and eat and then please actually go back to bed. Okay, can you just like stop it for a second so that I can actually like lock it in that you're going to eat it? Yeah, there we go. So eat that honey and then please go back up to bed to sleep for just a little while longer. 
you're all good to age up. You're already an A student, but your twin brother definitely needs to get his grades up. Oh boy. Well, actually, maybe we could have him. Oh no, that um needs to be replaced. Can we just, yeah, just, hmm. Uh, now you can sleep a little while longer, honey. You can sleep a little, little while longer. Who's calling you and why? Um, no, call them out for never paying you back. Oh my gosh, we just got 2000 for that. <laughs> That's so funny. Well, free money. Love that. Okay. Oh, sweetie. Oh my goodness. You're so hungry. That's no good. That's no good. Get up and go and get some food, sweetie. Now, what are you doing, honey? I'm really, I'm just concerned about, about Levin today. So Levin and Leo are definitely going to be aging up today. But if we could get Mia's grades up, I mean, her skills up as well, we could potentially be having four birthdays, which would be really good. And then potentially we could also have them all age up into young adults all at the same time too, and then like move them all out at the same time. And then we'd have so much space for more babies. Stop being attacked by bees and just play on the monkey bars. I promise it's going to be worth it. Did she just get it up? I don't think she did. Oh no, she didn't because it would have, um, it would have said over here, please, sweetie, you are so close. Like, I promise you, we're going to treat you so well once you get your thingy right up to a hundred. Promise, 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 promise. 99, come on, honey, you are so close. So close. Okay, amazing, amazing. Now, before you go to school, you can actually come inside. Oh my goodness, everything keeps breaking. Please use the toilet. And actually, Stella, you can give her a sleep replacement, pretty please. Uh, I'm pretty sure that kids can drink them. So if we just go ahead and purchase that really quickly, uh, I just want to give it to Mia. And then Mia, my love, please drink this. And you should be actually A-OK -okay for the day. Please, sweetie, please stop playing on the monkey bars. Please do as I say. Uh, I'm concerned about your health, my love. Come on, sweets. Come on, come in, go to the toilet. Oh my gosh, everybody, wake up and go to school. Ah, wake up and go to school. Well, it looks like you can't go to the toilet or um, uh, wash yourself. Hopefully, you'll still be able to... Oh boy, you're going to have to work hard today, my love. And how are you doing? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Everybody's in terrible, terrible, terrible moods. Have you drank your drink? What's going on? Okay, amazing. Well, at least me is going to be in a good mood, am I right? <laughs> Mia, sweetie, please study hard. Oh my gosh, these guys are going to hate me once they get home from school. Please study hard. You don't need to study hard. You're actually completely fine. Maybe for today you can make some friends to kind of get your social up a little. Mia, go to school. Go to school, go to school, go to school, go to school, go to school. Go. Come on, honey. Go. 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 How is Stella's pregnancy doing? She's in the second trimester in nine hours. Definitely not having a baby this episode, that's for sure. Okay, so while they are at school, these two are just going to get some sleep and then they need to act. Oh, wait, you've eaten. So it's just, uh, it's just Nora that needs to eat. Actually, she can wake up now and go and get some food. And then once she's eaten, we'll have Stella give them both a bath. But while uh, we're waiting, we can just go ahead and we can resume writing this. I think that's a romance novel, honestly. So she can go and she can, uh, finish off that and hopefully it'll be an excellent book. Let's accept the help. Uh, oh, that wasn't a gain or a loss. So that's okay. How are you doing, sweetie? Oh, wait, these guys might actually, you need to study hard. Oh, wait, no, 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 never mind. You don't need to study hard. You've already got an A. That's totally fine. It's you. You need to study hard, honey. I know it's going to be hard, but um, no thanks, honey. We don't want to go on a date with you. I need you to get this A, babes. I really need you to get this A. Okay, Mila is almost there. She's almost got that little golden tick. How about Mia? Oh, she's also uh, getting pretty, pretty close. We may have some A grades today. We may not. You never know. Hopefully we will. I mean, it's still early. Oh my gosh, yes. Okay, so Mila's going to get hers. That's amazing. You can uh, stop studying hard now. Please just work normal. Uh, how about Mia? Mia's still kind of climbing up there. How about you, sweetie? Oh, you're so close. So, so close. And you're perfectly fine to just do whatever. Okay, so we need Stella to actually do some potty training as well because unless these two get their potty up to level two, they're not going to be able to go to the potty on their own. So that is something that we need to kind of make sure that we're focusing on as well. I just want to check the kids one more time. You're obviously fine. Oh, good. Levin is going to be getting his grades up today. Amazing. 
absolutely fantastic. So you'll be getting your grades up and so will you. <gasps> and so will Mia. Oh my goodness, guys, we're going to have four teenagers today. That is such perfect timing because we have Nora and Noah and then we're going to have another baby like within the next couple of days. Uh, I mean, sim, sim days at least because obviously Stella's pregnant again. Okay, Stella, honey, stop writing that book for a little while. I actually need you to do some potty training for the both of your little babbly roos. What is going on? No, 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 no. Oh my gosh, everything is beeping at me. No, leave. We don't want you here. Go home. <laughs> I love this send home option. I honestly do. All right, are you doing the potty training or not? Are you just kind of standing there doing nothing? We also need to bathe our children because they are nasty and stinky. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay, can you just, um, toddler care give her a bubble bath please because she's stimky she's so stimky so after you've done that you can actually potty train uh nora wait did i get some a's <gasps> levin's grades are up mila mia and that's it oh wait oh yeah <gasps> oh my goodness okay so you're an a grade you're an a grade you're an a grade and you're an a grade oh my golly gracious so you guys we are going to be ending this episode off with some birthdays. So first up is Levin. Wait, no, Leo. First up is Leo. All right, let's go, baby. Let's go. And I've also got create a random sim open, ready to go for his trait and his aspiration. So what I've been doing recently is putting in their child trait down here uh, and then actually taking the trait from here. So he's going to want to be a mansion baron and he's going to be a bookworm. So bookworm and where's the fortune and mansion baron? There we go. So that is our lovely little Leo. Now, really quickly, add some birthday candles, please. So that Levin can come and blow his candles out. So I've already put vegetarian in down here. So we'll go again. He wants to be a super parent and he wants to be a maker. Ooh, interesting. So where's the maker trait? Because I actually, oh, there we go, sweet. And he wants to be, what was it? Super parent. So that is this one. Yeah. Okie dokie. Ah, oh, I'm so happy with that. So I'll just get the creator random sim ready to go so that Mila can get her, um, her aspiration and trait. So Mila is aging up now. So her child trait was good. So if we just click this button here, oh, she's going to be a vegetarian as well. And she wants to be a public enemy. So vegetarian and public enemy, which is this one. Yep. Okay, public enemy and vegetarian. So now we have two vegetarians in the house. So please re-add some birthday candles, my love. We're gonna have so many like gifts in the mail tomorrow. It's going to be insane in the membrane. Okay, very good. Now you also got your aim idea. So blow your candles out. Okay, so evil and then press again. So she wants to be, I mean, she's going to be squeamish and she wants to be a party animal. Interesting, interesting. So squeamish there and party animal would be in social or popularity uh party animal that one okay well really quickly go ahead and re-add the birthday candles please 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 don't take the cake <laughs> okay amazing and so many gifts once again well, anyway, you guys, I am going to go ahead and end this episode off here. So if you are enjoying the series, please do remember to subscribe if you haven't already and make sure you stick around until after I finish my outro so that you guys can watch the makeover if you're interested. If not, just obviously, you know, click off. But anyway, so if you enjoyed this video, be sure to click the like button and let me know in the comments down below what you'd like to see on my channel next. Thank you all so much for watching and until next time, bye bye.